Hello everyone, uh, let's look at uh, the How Tang Preparatory Exam 2023, uh, paper 2, and we'll be looking at question uh, 1. Um, question 1 was pretty uh, simple. Um, question that's fat, fat and bank reconciliation. Uh, the question says, uh, evaluated text so the total question is 25 minutes and with 25 35 marks validated text um the following entries led to raimi stores for the VAT period ended 31 august a standard rate of 15 percent on VAT is applicable then i required to calculate the amounts denoted by a to c that's eight max that's pretty eight is max if i have to say i just shouldn't spend more than you know five minutes doing those calculations then done so uh, regularly uh, buys electrical equipment from raimi stores so done so uh, so done so buys from raimi I remember looking into the books of Raimi. I had the owner said of a Danny a special price, right? So the owner that is uh, Raimi of Raimi stores offered Danny souls who wants to buy a special price of 40,000 uh, inclusive, fat inclusive on his purchases instead of the normal 46,000. On condition that Danny paid cash without any documentation, so that's where the problem is. Advice Danny what he should do provide uh, one point. Right, uh, then we have information A. Uh, these are the transaction. I we suppose calculate um, A, B, and C. So we've got fat uh, exclusive that. Um, price without VAT, then the VAT payable, then the inclusive uh, amount, that is for amount including uh, VAT. So you've got goods returned by debtors, right, you've got purchase of trading stock and total sales. Then total sales uh, include zero rated goods, right, um, zero rated goods are good that, you know, that are charged VAT at zero percent, right, at zero. Uh, and should they have been sold uh, for 10,120. The bookkeeper has included fat of 1,530 on these goods. This must be corrected. That means it was a right child fat on goods that are not have uh, chargeable. Uh, let's quickly look at this question and answer it. Right, uh, so the first one uh, for A, you are calculating VAT inclusive. That should be straightforward. That's 16,800 plus 2,520. Um, that's 16,800 plus um, 2,520. Right, uh, that'll give you... 16, 16,800 plus 2,520, 9,320. That was the simplest uh, calculation that you ever get. And then the second one, right, uh, pages of trading stock. You are given the VAT inclusive. Right, you are given the VAT inclusive here. And you're supposed to calculate the VAT uh, amount. Our VAT is fifteen percent, so this amount includes includes VAT. So our figures for calculation need to include VAT, um, the denominator. So it's three hundred seventy nine thousand five hundred. Multiply by fifteen over. 115. I remember I was saying over 115 because um, this amount already includes uh, VAT. So we, we denominator will be 115. That includes uh, the VAT as well. 
eta then this gives us um, that's 379,379,500 times 15 divided by 115 that gives you 49,000 500 right that's another simplest calculation and the next one uh, you're given total sales hi but on the total sales you need to deduct uh, the 10,200 so it's eight 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 thousand eight hundred twenty one thousand right minus 10,200 so this will be 821,000 minus 10,000 200 uh, times 15 over 100 right uh, normally um, so that's how you get your your vat that's how you get your vat right so uh, that will be remember substituting this course and not supposed to calculate fat on that so 821 821,000 minus 10,200 uh, times 15%. That's 121,620. Right. Or uh, if you have to write it differently, you're going to say uh, that's an another workout that was acceptable. That's 821,000 times 15% of 15 of 100 all this minus uh, the figure that you're given here 1530 right so it will come out as um, 821,000 times 15% so this will be 123,115 minus 1,513, 1,513. So that will give you the same uh, result as this one here. Right, so that was the other working that you could have used here. Right, uh, so that's, that's, that's it. Right. You shouldn't spend more than eight minutes doing that, right? Quick calculations, and then you're done. I right, then uh, let's look at the second part of the question bank record. I says, uh, bank reconciliation and internal control, it's always the case. The full information led to the traders for June 2023. So basically, you're preparing a bank record. For June 2023, remember bank reconciliation on a monthly basis. Note uh, the official bank statement used for reconciliation sent by email to the business on the 25th of each month. That means we still have five or six days, depending what month end, right? Five or six days that is not uh, included on the bank statement. Uh, but you prepare the bank statement at the end of um, the month. Right, so there will be some differences in, in balances because the statement comes on the 25th, but you do reconciliation on the last day of the month. Then required, show the entries that must be recorded in the case journals um, by completing the table provided in the answer book. And that's 11 marks. That's where most of the marks are actually. Right, um, for bank reconciliation, most of the marks will come out from uh, the bank recall and all the cash journals or adjusting the cash journals that is CPG and CRJ and um, maybe the bank uh, ledger account the bank recall almost a plus or minus <coughs> seven marks sorry then uh, calculate the bank account balance on 30 June I think you calculate the bank account balance on 30 that's that's your ledger Right. Then prepare the bank reconciliation on 30 June. That's eight marks. Then um, 
The auditor has identified problems relating to deposits, explain and quote one figure. Right. So that's always the case. So that won't take us a uh, very long time. Then information extract from the bank closing statement that one may. This is the previous bank recall. Right. So if what else then deposit right, uh, on that was deposited on 9 June for 22,420. Uh, then uh, 30 June. 2023 65,164. I just a minute, there's something wrong here. Let me just double check here. This should be May, not June. I, uh, I think there's something wrong with these dates here. At least see, let's see, as we move forward, but it definitely because this is the bank condition statement on that one May. Right, so if we're looking at the bank, uh, external bank that one May, right, uh, we can't have June for the bank reconciliation of that one May, so there should be uh, some error there with this part. Right, outstanding uh, EFT. Right, uh, remember, it's kind of like moving from using checks to EFT. So outstanding EFT, number 118. Right, um, then uh, EFT number 121. And then a uh, favorable bank balance is per the bank account in, in, the, in the ledger. It's favorable, that means it's a debit balance. Okay, and that is from the previous. Then no, the outstanding deposit on 30 June 2023 appeared on the June bank statement by the deposit. So uh, you cannot have an outstanding deposit on 30 June appearing uh they said the person deposit on 30 june 2020 appeared on the june bank statement it doesn't make sense so this was supposed to be may and now i'm certain right this was supposed to be may right so, so this was supposed to be may Right, so same applies here as well. That's May. So the outstanding deposit uh, on 30 May 2020 appeared on the June bank statement, but the deposit on 9 May as well appeared as 12,420. I remember the 9 May, right? If you check here, the 9 May it was shown in the bank record as what 22,420. And it only appeared as 12,420. That means uh, there is a difference of 10,000. Right. Then uh, EFT 121 appeared on the bank uh, on the June bank statement. Right. With the correct amount of 13,415. Right. So 121, you ignore it. Right. All other entries appeared correctly on the bank uh, on the June bank statement. Right. All other entries appeared correctly. On the June bank statement, right? Uh, that means that uh, this particular one, right, uh, is wrong here. So you need to adjust uh, for it. I do need to adjust for it. And where do you adjust for it? Uh, do you adjust in the bank correct translation or do you adjust in the cash uh, journals? All right. Uh, all other entries appeared correctly on the June bank statement, right? So that means all other entries, which entries, there's only one entry, right? Which is this one because uh, this one was addressed. This one was addressed because it never appeared, right? And uh, this one was addressed, it did appear, but uh, wrongly, right? Because it was supposed to be 13,415, not 13,315, right? So, all other basically it means uh, the EFT. Then, before inspection, the June Bank statement. Before inspecting the June bank statement, the provision provision at 2000, the June cash books were uh, 610,400 for the cash receipt journal, then uh, 568,300 5 for the cash payment journal. Right, uh, then information on the June bank statement from bank 
which did not appear in the case journals as transaction fees these are bank charges interest on credit balance at interest income that's interest income a debit order to the city council for 25100 for water and electricity right that's a payment a deposit of 42200 from a growth bank being a fixed deposit that matured with the interest right we were not told uh, the interest part of it so this is fixed deposit right uh, that is matured then um, EFT 182 for 3,121 in favor of S dealers was recorded in the was recorded in the correct journal. Perfect Bank, however, reflected it twice on the uh, June uh, bank statement. So this was properly recorded, but the bank recorded it twice in the bank statement the bank informed us that they will rectify the what uh, the issue right so this a bank error right bank errors you don't correct them in the cash in the cash in your cash journals that will be an adjustment uh, in uh, the bank recall right that will be an adjustment in the bank recall a data i pay send z traders proof of a direct deposit into the business bank account of seven thousand eight hundred and sixty on twenty sixth June. So this was sent on twenty sixth June. Being a payment on here account, the bookkeeper entered this in the C P J right so at the end of the month, right? Uh, that's an outstanding uh, deposit because that money should uh, be appearing. Then ATM would draw by Zay, the owner for personal use, six thousand right so this is appearing on the bank statement i right. uh, the one uh, for the business says uh, a data i pay i'd send the traders proof of uh, a direct deposit right remember it's not appearing on the bank statement but they were sent proof just because it was done on the 26th of june remember the bank statement uh we receive it on uh, where is it right on the 25th right of every month but this was done on the 26th right so that will be after we have received the bank statement then the following entries were in the case journals for june 2023 only so these were in the uh, june 2023 only a deposit of 10,000 dated 29 june right then eft 188 then eft 189 bank balance uh, 30 june question mark right okay let's try and answer the questions let's start with the first one right show the entry that must be uh, recorded in the questionnaires by completing the table provided in the answer book right um let's start oh if i forgot to address this one let me just quickly uh address this one right here so uh what should danny do i'd advise danny remember is the one who is being asked to uh pay right forty thousand cash uh for the good that are worth forty six thousand um you know only with the action that doesn't uh, do any documentation so uh danny should do what Ask for full documentation. Right. Uh, Danny should uh, so ask or insist uh, on full documentation. Right. What else can Danny do? Right. Because this is basically uh, it's it's more like it will lead to money laundering because. Normally, when business transacting cash and there is no documentation, most of the times uh, the money that is being transacted there, uh, they want to use it for some other things. And more majorly here is to avoid um, uh, paying VAT. That's a VAT avoidance, or oh, not VAT of VAT uh, invading, right? Because to avoid a VAT, that's a legal term. 
that's a legal thing but it, it if you invade fat right fat invasion is because you 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 trying to illegally avoid paying uh, fat so here uh, Duncan informs us And this should be uh, kind of like uh, the last resort when uh, he's trying to engage with uh, Rahim Astos, but they're not, uh, you know, cooperating in terms of documentation. So he can uh, inform uh, SARS. Right, as well as uh, then he can, uh, you know, can warn. Um, Rahim to desist from an ethical business practice because it's trying to invade um, taxation right so you can give any advice that led to my ethics right um, you know as long as it's within uh, the scope okay let's let's answer uh, the second part of the bank reconciliation All right um, if you look at the question from here All right so uh, let's start with the bank record remember I said that uh, this this should be made same applies to this should be made All right not June because we're looking at uh, previous bank recall for May. All right, so uh, the first uh, question that we have here is um, the outstanding deposit on 30 May 2023 appeared on the uh, June bank statement, but the deposit on 30 June appeared as what? There's 12,000, that means there's 10,000 uh, missing, so we need to account for that. So that will be an expense, 10,000, it's a loss. All right, that will be a loss. Then EFT 121 appeared on the June uh, bank statement with the correct amount of 13,450, but it was entered years what? 13, 14,350. So finding the difference there, right? That means uh, in the bank, in the bank recall, right? Or in the case journals, right? It was overstated, right? So it's an overstated uh, payment. So that's fourteen thousand three hundred fifty minus minus twelve thirteen thousand one hundred fifty. That will give you nine hundred. So to correct that, I uh, have to record it as a what? As uh, a receipt. Right. Uh, then uh, that is done. Then all other entries appeared correct. That means the all other entry that we're talking about is only this one that is left because all others have been, uh, you know, entered. So it's only this one that has been, uh, that they're talking about, right? Then uh, if you move over, right, uh, these ones, I will have them already, right, uh, is these two, right? So you don't need to do anything about them. Right, uh, so on this all other entries, once something was in the previous bank recall and it appears uh, in the bank recall, you just ignore it. There's nothing that you do, so you just ignore it because you're not going to record. It's already been recorded on both uh, sides, so you just ignore it. Right, uh, so now we need to move over to uh, information C. Uh, transaction fees of nine eight ninety. that's an expense. 890 right transaction fees these are bank charges then interest on credit balance right uh, if it's a credit balance in the bank statement that means it's positive so interest there will be income so 108 uh, that's the interest uh, then a debit order to the city council 25,100 for and electricity that's a, that's a payment 25,100 then um, a deposit of 42200 from Growth Bank uh, being a fixed deposit that matured together with interest. So that's uh, a receipt 
forty two thousand two hundred I think that inclusive of interest right so that is done right then our uh, EFT one eighty two for three thousand one hundred twenty one in favor of S garage dealers was recorded in the correct journal perfect bank however reflected it twice right so that's bank error and they agreed to rectify it I had to correct it so that would be bank rico i do not you don't uh, correct a bank error in our books that's uh, the bank error then data i pay um, sent say traders proof of a direct deposit into the business so that should be after the bank statement so this should be here because this amount is not appearing in the bank statement and it shouldn't be uh, up there under the information on the june bank statement should be on the journals i right, being a payment uh, on your account the bookkeeper entered this in the cpj so that was entered in the wrong account so you double the amount right you double the amount that's seven thousand eight hundred sixty to correct it Uh, seven thousand eight hundred sixty uh, by two. I had to explain why you do that in a minute. Fifteen thousand seven hundred twenty. Right, that's fifteen thousand seven hundred twenty. Then, uh. Then 6,018 would draw by Zay, the owner for personal use. These are drawings. I also have dealt with that one. So our drawings are 6,000. Right. So um, 6,000, those are drawings. That's a payment. And then uh, the flow entries are in the case journals for June 2023 only. Right. So uh, a deposit height of 10,000 on 29 June. That's bank rico. Right, EFT, that's bank rico. Then another EFT, that's bank rico. Right, okay. So, then, yeah, that's the end. Then uh, the question asks you to uh, do the... And then the question asks you to do the um, calculate the bank balance, right? So to calculate the bank balance, you need to add our journals, right? Uh, get the totals from our journals. That's uh, six hundred ten thousand four hundred plus nine hundred plus one oh eight plus forty two two hundred plus fifteen thousand seven hundred twenty. That gives you six hundred sixty-nine thousand three hundred twenty-eight. Then uh, the payments. That's five hundred sixty-eight thousand three hundred plus ten thousand plus eight hundred ninety plus twenty-five thousand one hundred plus six thousand. That gives you 610,219. Right, uh, then this part says calculate the bank account balance on 30 June. Right, so for bank account balance for 30 June, you need to uh, say opening balance plus total receipts minus total payments. Right, our opening account balance uh, were given here in the previous bank recall. Right, so the closing for June, for May becomes opening for for june so our closing for may was sixty five thousand. because if every bank balance has been has paid the bank account in the ledger right six five thousand right so if we say sixty five thousand 
plus 669 total receipts, 1,328, minus total payments, 610,219. That will give us our closing bank balance on 30 June. So that's 65,000 plus 669,328 minus 610,219. That is 124,038. That's 124,038. Then let's look at the bank record. Right, our bank record, the first entry that we have right at the top there is balance as 1,000. Right, we're not given. Right, the question doesn't give us any balance of pay bank statement, but we have all the other entries that we can we can have. Right, the first one that comes after that one is outstanding deposit. Outstanding deposit, right? Right, uh, outstanding deposit, right? Uh, it's uh, right here. Right, the 10,000. So, outstanding deposit uh, goes on the credit side. This is one that you always know, no matter what, right? You must get this correct, right? Then um, you correct the bank error, right? Credit. bank error. Right, I remember the bank error is this one for the uh, for the EFT and the bank um, debited it twice. I better suppose we debited it once. Right, so that's 3,121. So you credit that. The bank debited, you do the opposite. 3,121. Then uh, the EFTs at the TFT at uh, outstanding EFT and there is one twenty eight there's EF one eighty eight and one eighty nine One eighty eight is six thousand seven hundred and eighty. Then uh, one eighty nine is two thousand four hundred and sixty eight. I then balances the bank statement. Balance, sorry. As per bank account, that's the ledger, right? Uh, that's 124,000. Remember, that's positive, that's a debit balance. 1038. I right, uh, remember we're not given the uh, closing balance. For the bank statement so it forms a balancing figure uh, which side is greater that's my debit side right so uh i'll say this 124 i don't know where i'm getting 128 from 124,038 plus 2,468 plus 6 that's 133,286. Right, 133,286. Right, uh, to get our balances per bank statement, 
height will say minus the credit side which is 3121 minus 10,000 so that will be 120,165 right, so that will be your bank uh, reconciliation right uh, so this part the order identified problem written to deposit explain in a uh, court one piece of evidence right so uh, the problem with cash is cash deposited is taking too long to appear in bank statements right right court evidence right deposit on 9 June appeared uh, on 9 June for 22,000 uh, 240 I guess 120 only appeared in not for 9 June for 9 May only appeared in June bank statement as 10,000 as 12,000 420 so that will be your, your bank recall. It should be straightforward. And if you practice enough, you find that uh, when it comes to bank recall, you always collect half uh, full marks.